Hello everybody, and welcome to another video about my calculator. <laughs> um, okay, so what I've been doing is, I've just been doing a little bit of handiwork on some on a new calculator design. Okay, the same principle as this calculator. This calculator here is a two decimal input and a three decimal output calculator. So what we're doing is, um, oh. Uh, what we're doing is we're putting a two decimal number in and adding it or subtracting it with another two decimal number and getting the output. As you can see, we've got 20 minus 8 on the screen here and we're getting 12, which is the correct answer. Alright, and that's using a number pad. Okay, so what the way this calculator works is is converting a decimal input into binary so that the adders can then add that binary number to the secondary binary number and give an output here and which then goes back into this binary to decimal decoder uh, and then which is also here on the screen decoder which gives the final answer down the bottom okay so basically look at the size of this thing okay so um, just ignore this for now we're just going to ignore this because basically all this here is doing in this area is it's giving the the two display numbers the first number input and the second number input that's what the area of it's doing so we're not going to worry about that because that's not actually calculating anything that's just giving us the display numbers here okay this is where the calculation is happening the number is coming from the number pad down along here into our little cells here which remembers them numbers and then outputs it along this one giving us the binary number and then yeah whatever calculating it and sending it up through that one and then giving us the answer okay um, so basically the whole idea of this calculator the whole idea of this video is I'm trying I'm gonna try and show you a different concept I'm gonna show you all of what this calculator is doing here in a much smaller version which is just behind me so take a good look at this one here look at the size of that that's pretty pretty massive and then look at this one here okay that's like less than half the size this is literally less than half the size this part here is the adder this was my first attempt, my very first attempt, I don't know if you've seen the other video, at building a vertical adder, which is a pretty big fail. It it really sucks. This was my second attempt at building a vertical adder. It's much smaller, but it's still a fail as well. But anyways, I thought I'd just use this big one. Would have been better off if I used a small one since I was trying to aim for the smallest two decimal calculator in Minecraft, but I didn't think of it at the time. Anyway, so this is basically our input. Input the first number on the bottom and then the second number. Then the way the RAMs work is the RAM takes that first input and automatically saves it and then it adjusts so that you can put the second number in. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a nice simple sum. What we'll, I'll clear it first. So that clears the RAM cells and basically the number disappears off the screen. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do 10. So there's our first number. So this is 0 and all the way up. This end is number 9. And it's the same on the top. So we put the first number in and it's remembering that since we're using a T flip flop. It's remembering that first number. And then we're going to put the second number in. I'll just do 0. Okay, and the first RAM cell remembers that number, it saves the number and then outputs it along the bottom. And it is visible on the screen, since I haven't got a, I haven't set it up to sort of just display once we get the answer, it's, it's just straightforward sort of shit there. And we're going to give the, uh, it a second number, uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll do number 2, we'll just do plus 23 alright. So that's one, two, three, and the answer should be 33. 
Yeah, and it is. So the screen clearly displays number 33. Now I'm just going to do another song just to prove this isn't Jibber Jabber. Uh, let's do this time. We'll do a slightly larger sum. Thirty. Say we'll do number thirty, thirty-two, thirty-two, which is that one. Plus forty. This is number four. Forty. Forty-five. So thirty-two plus forty-five equals seventy. Not seventy-seven or some shit. Yeah, and look, there we go. There's there's the answer, 77. Um, I want to do one more. Okay, so one more. There's number 20. I just put number 20 in. Add. Add 30. 36. 20 and 36 is 56. And there's the answer, 56 is displayed on the screen. This is legit. It works. It's quite amazing how it works. Look at the look how small this is. This doesn't even have a oh well yeah it does have a decimal to binary coder. This this that's it here. See look at this here. This is the decimal to binary decoder on my other calculator design, which starts all the way up there and finishes all the way down there. Nice clock, yeah. And then, uh, basically, l literally, this from there over to here is a decimal decoder, decimal to binary decoder on this one. It is literally a quarter of the size. And then this part here, from approximately, or just after the adders from here, back over to here is the binary to decimal decoder again and then this is the this is just this area here is just the decoder for the screen to display the numbers on the screen so it's well and truly less than half the size of that one over there so if anyone can do any better I'd love to see any videos but so far this is the smallest two decimal decoder or two decimal calculator, my bad, on Minecraft ever created. Thanks for watching guys.